Hi, it's Rachel with Topsy Turtle Thrifter and welcome back to my channel. I am a reseller online with um, eBay and then I do my cross listings on Macari. And then I also have a booth in a local uh, vintage shop here in our town that I also um, sell mostly vintage and collect. I thrift most of my items from resale stores like Goodwill or local thrift stores and then I also like some garage sales and I really like estate sales. Um, today I have a haul from some different, uh, one. it's one thrift store and then it's like um, I think three different Goodwill stops um, over time and I've been finding some really good stuff at Goodwill lately because for a while it was getting hard to find things. Um, for me to resell, I'd maybe find a couple things each time I'd go in the store. Well, lately when I've been in, there's been quite a few. Um, and I've been finding a lot of glassware stuff. So a lot of the things that I sell that are vintage. And so today, in today's haul, I have an assortment of glassware to show you. So if this is something you're interested in and would like to see what I have then stay tuned and I will show you what I have. Because I have several items to show today, I'm going to try to be brief. Um, most of the things, these things I have looked up comps on to give you an idea of what I should be able to list those items for sell or put them for sale for if I put them in my booth. Um, there are actually quite a few that I had a hard time finding good comps on. I'm not real sure I could find similar items, so I went by that or I would find the item and I couldn't find any that sold. So maybe I don't, maybe I didn't find the right things to sell, but we'll find out. Um, I can always go with a baseline. If I can't find a good solid comp, then I can make a decision on what I think uh, is fair based on the price that I paid for it. So let me start. Um, this is a thrift store that helps um, the community. It's um, I think it's called Assisted League, and I don't, every time I go in there, I do find some really good things. I just can't always buy some of the things because I heard a lady telling a customer that it's upscale thrift store, and so they really keep a lot of nice vintage items, but they do price them up. All right, so what I found at that store, um... I paid a total of $21.65. Now I do have, um, there were a couple of their uh, dollar t-shirts I purchased, so those won't be in the haul. Those are personal buys, but what I did buy, let's see, the first thing was this. I don't know why I thought this was really cute. It's just a little jar with little fake flowers in them. Um, I paid $3 for it. I don't know if I'll keep this or if I will maybe put it as a booth item because sometimes I like to put things like this for so just to kind of give a little decorative look to it but it's also for sale so I will decide on that and I found this it is a cobalt blue perfume jar it has no markings on the bottom which you can't see that because I have a sticker there but um, I paid four for it this is really pretty. It has like ribbing on it. And then when you open it, it has a glass, like a little wand. Um, so I wasn't able to find this exact bottle. Um, and I wasn't able to find really any with these little wands in them. So I don't know if this is older. Um, I can tell you by the bottom. It has a smooth bottom, so it's probably not that old. Um, so a little bit newer. Um, I found a peach colored one that was very similar shaped. It had that ribbing texture on it and it did sell for $24.99 and that was without the wand and I do believe it was also unmarked. So I don't know if that's what I could get for that. I'll have to do a little bit more research and then make a decision on that. And then probably the yeah I picked this up so this is made by Nippond and it's hand painted and I'm gonna try to see as far as focusing um, because it has really pretty detail on that but it's opened at the top here 
Um, so, again, with searching this, I couldn't find anything um, solid to, to tell me what this is. What The lady, when I was checking out, she asked me, what was I going to do with this? Was I going to do a project? And I told her that I wasn't sure what it was, but it reminds me of the hat pin, hat pin um, holders. However, the ones I've seen usually have holes in them so that you could stick each pin in there. Um, so I told her I might end up keeping this for display for myself because I wanted to show... I had a hat pin that I had showed one time I found in an estate sale. And so that's just one, but you could put a couple more in there. Um, if I wanted it to stand up a little more, I could stick the foam for plant, uh, for florals, the floral foam in there, and maybe stick it to keep it standing up. When I researched it, the internet called it either a bud vase or a hat pin holder. And some of them were sold in lots. So I was back to, I'm not sure what it is. But it might end up being something I keep. So, all right. Now, now on to Goodwill. This is going to be a, um, a mix of things because I can't remember which day I would have bought what. I tried to somewhat organize it. But, oh, there was, so, okay, wait. The last thing from this little shop was this duffel bag. Oh, it's not the front of it. That's the back. Um, I paid three dollars for this, and it is a it's a Universal Studio Harry Potter duffel bag, and it has all the parts that go with it, the little straps. So it is in really good condition. So I went ahead and grabbed it for three dollars. And I looked up the comps for that. They had one that sold for 12 but I think it didn't have the original strap. And then they had um, brand new, sold for $109. Um, like there were comps kind of were spread out from $20 to $30. But I could probably list this from anywhere from $15 to $20. $25 so being that it's in good condition and I did check it looks like it has everything that it was supposed to have the zipper works fine I was let's see if you can get a better picture of that like little patchwork patches here so yep all right now from the different Goodwills, so there, this is from different days, but I've just compiled it together and so I'm not sure I'm going to remember, I'm not going to have it in order of which day I got it. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get this one. I've been finding a lot of bottles. So this is a decanter and it has its stopper. They had it taped on there really good. I was trying to have that mostly taken off so I didn't have to do it here but that stopper and I paid $7.99 for that and let's see yeah this is one I couldn't find a good comp on um, there were several similar ones but they had different tops and they had a little bit different design so I don't even know if they were the same makers because I don't see any marks on here so this is one I'm going to have to do a little bit more research on and then I will decide on a price for that but I just thought it was pretty it's different um, I'm particular about clear glass because some clear glass just doesn't do well I know crystals some crystal does not everything because I have had some listed that didn't sell well but this is pretty and it's very heavy, very sturdy. And I thought, you know, the stopper's intact. Everything's nice. No chips. So I grabbed that. So we'll see how that does. And on the topic, on the topic of decanters, I have this one. Now this one is definitely modern. Uh, it has a smooth bottom. No stickers, no maker's mark, but also 
it looks older I think it's the color the amber um, in it but it has this stopper with it I could not find a match for this for anything um, again they were similar I paid $7.99 for it and I I just kind of went by similar ones that sold anywhere maybe from $28 to $30 so this, I believe, is going to go in my booth. Um, I was looking for more glass items, more colorful glass to put in my booth because I have a really tall shelf in there, and I just want to put it all on the top. Um, and that brings me to my third piece. So um, purple is my favorite color, or amethyst is what they call the glass. This, another one that has me stumped. Um, it looks like a swung vase, however, it's not the traditional. It almost looks like a mouth. <laughs> um, it's not like the, the traditional swung vase that you see with the several things. So I don't know. Um, it, this one has me stumped. I paid $5.99. There's a pontil mark on the bottom, which gives it some indication that it may have some age because... Um, what I read was the newer glasses, um, this would be blown glass, and this is the pontoon mark where they would have pulled out the tool they used to blow that. And um, the newer glass, they polish it so you don't see it as prominent. But this one is, is you can see really well. And then also maybe the shape here. It just gives me some indication that this might have some age on it, but I couldn't find anything on it. So... Just from amethyst bases that I did see, um, maybe it could go anywhere from eight to 18 to 20 or maybe even a little bit more. I also have to measure it to see about how tall it is because I know size matters too when you're pricing your items. So, let's see. Bottle, another bottle. So we got this bottle this is dr fish's bitters so it's shaped like a fish and it's not there's no writing on the bottle on the bottom but it has this symbol here i paid a dollar 99 when i first found it the cork was i believe it was the original cork it was intact and i tried to take it out and it just crumbled so there's a piece stuck in there that I'll probably go ahead and remove and I might just replace it with a newer cork um, when I look these up there are several of these bottles and I think some of them are made by Wheaton the Wheaton glass company um, this does say Millville New Jersey it just doesn't have Wheaton on it anywhere but there's several of them in different colors that have sold and listed but I cannot find any in the pink um, worth point shows that there was a maybe a couple pink ones sold but I don't have a subscription so I'm not able to tell what the value of that what it sold for so being that it's not I can't find this color on there I don't know if that makes that a little bit more rare it's one of those things I'm gonna have to figure out as I go but the ones that did sell um okay so the ones that did sell in different colors whether it had a cork or not could be anywhere from 12 to 18 dollars so again i didn't find this color so i don't know if that makes that any more valuable or not but i will find out once i get that listed and then I picked this up. It does, have, it does look like a handmade piece, but it is uh, stamped on the back. It's wooden, and it's good luck from Ireland. It has the little clover here at the top. And then it's stamped something draft handmade in Ireland. So, I thought this would be a cute piece to just put out for for our St. Patrick's decorations. Um, I will likely keep this for my decorations. And figures. The 
this little bottle. So several of these came up when I did a search and it's Heisey Glass Crystal Light Vinegar Cruet. Um, so it's just this little cruet and it has the stopper. I think it's like a little flea bite chip there. Nothing marked on the bottom. I paid, oh yeah, did I tell you I paid for this bottle was $1.99 for the fish bottle. I don't know if I stated that. And then for this I paid $1.99. And then for this I paid $3.99. Now I found several listed, um, there was a range of, of um, pricings, one, someone put it on bid for 19 no bids were on it, um, then others sold anywhere from, well they were trying to sell it anywhere from maybe $24 with free shipping to $32, I saw some on Etsy's in the 30's, but again no, nothing that I could find that was sold. It's just a really pretty little bottle. And if it doesn't, um, that's something I'll probably end up in my booth just to get back what I spent on it. And then I found this little jar. Now this is newer. It's Kilner um, jar with the rubber lining here for a, a seal. To give it a seal here. I paid a dollar ninety nine. I picked that up more for. Um, us because Jeffrey does some canning and we put things in these little jars so I mostly had picked that up for him. I haven't even looked to see if what that would sell for. The fact that it's in good condition and if it does sell well I might go ahead and list it but we'll see. Alright and this little guy well then let me wait I don't want to forget stuff. <laughs> I picked up a um, another tin this one here so it just has some little um, older pictures on it carousel rooster wood 19th century toy locomotion tin and cast iron so it's just different old old things on here that's named um, the lid I don't I know I'm not gonna be able to pick this up on the camera but it says 1961 Catherine Beecher Manchester, Pennsylvania. So it does have some marks um, where it's got scratching here. It's not in the best condition. I paid $2.99 for it, which might have been too much because when I looked it up, I don't see any of these solds. I think I saw one. She, there's different tins. This is um, just one style, but none in this style sold. I think it was a mint tin, which would have been smaller. A uh, little small mint tin. I think it sold for five. Um, and then there's several of these size tins listed anywhere from six to ten dollars. So I paid three. So we will see. Then I picked these up. They're just little, uh, like this is a little gingham plaid carrot, and then these are little uh, stringed carrots. I, I have a set of these I've picked up somewhere else because. These would just be cute to put in Easter decoration. I think I paid $2.99 for those. And then I have these. These are cloisonne vases. So a pair. These are, I believe, I may be wrong, but I believe these are Chinese. Um, they are older, and I'll try to get closer so these both have the same designs on them so let me just show you one here so it has the flower and it has a butterfly here and then just more floral design and I paid $3.99 each for these so Cloisonne does really good um, it's kinda like everything else you have some things that sell high some low these when I looked them up, there were some listed. I think they were pretty much, I want to say they were just like these. I'll, I'm going to have to double check size and everything. But I think they were listed for $6.99 and it looked like several watchers were on them. Um, and then some had sold, I saw what, uh, a, a single vase sold about 15 
between 15 and 20. So I'm going to put these, these will be a pair. Um, so I'll have to kind of do a little bit more research to decide how I want to price these. But these are in really good condition. There's sometimes you see chips and um, sometimes the this part's all dented up where you might see some minor here but really not they just need a cleaning good cleaning and um the so that's why i grabbed those because these are in really good condition and they should sell well i think when i first started reselling a lot of this stuff sold for a little bit higher so i'm starting to see prices are dropping prices are going up in the thrift stores and they're dropping for resale so I don't know. I know. I hear that there's different trends. Um, you go through different phases. So um, I still think I should do pretty good on those. Because another thing I had noticed with these vases that they may have would have had a little lacquered stand on each of them. And if it would have had those, I saw some of them, and I I don't know the sizes, but some of them were going upwards of maybe ninety dollars if you had the whole set. So they would have sat on those little stands. Now, I have some of those stands, but they're tiny. They're not going to work for these. So. Okay, so there's this. It looks like it wants to be a teapot. At first, I was when I was doing the search, I was calling it a teapot, but then I was like, well, it doesn't have a lid. So, I guess it could be more of a pitcher or a teapot without a lid, but what it's meant to be it hangs on the wall, so it would be a wall pocket. So you could put a plant or put some pretty flowers coming out of that. So, um, let's see if I can show that flower. And then I paid $2.99. And the maker is, it's Formalities by Brom Brothers. And I believe this design is Redoubt Roses Collection. I can show you there. Um, I've sold that brand before and they do a lot of the chintz decor and that does really well and I I cannot even remember what it was I sold but I do remember having some items that they usually sell pretty quickly. Um, I couldn't find this exact one, but okay, so yeah, I couldn't find well, I couldn't find this exact one, um, but I found other wall pockets um, by the by the formalities. Um, they sold anywhere from fifteen to twenty dollars, so. $2.99. I think that was a great deal. And this is very likely going to go online. Um, in my booth, I don't have a lot of space to hang stuff. Um, so I'll end up putting that one online. Okay, so if I'm ever out anywhere and I find Pyrex pieces that I can... Or Pyrex. Pyrex is really popular with the bowls. I've picked up Pyrex bowls before. But if I ever find the lids for a good price, I'll go ahead and grab those. Um, this is a really nice size one. I believe it's for a casserole dish. So this is the Pyrex bowl lid. And I paid $2.99, which really is a good deal because um, I don't know if I currently have a bowl that needs one. I, I do have some. I don't know if this is the right size. Or you can uh, sell. So I'll save it to use it for a bowl that needs a lid. Or I will... Um, sell it as a replacement and it if I do it as a replacement it might sell for eight to ten dollars um, most likely I'm gonna hang on to it because when I find bowls that need lids they sell better when you can put a lid with it so that's probably what I'm gonna end up doing with that I just I just have to find a place to put it all right so this is a milk glass bowl mixing bowl it's a small one um, I paid $3.99. It is not marked. So I've picked up milk glass mixing bowls before. And a lot of them are made by um, Sunbeam. And they came with maybe with the mixers. This one I don't know. 
I'm not sure if this is even older or if this one yeah I don't know I don't know I, I believe it could have come in a set where it had a larger bowl uh, because when I looked online the, the there was a larger bowl that sold for around $19 um, I want to say it was 10 inch this one is see this one's about six six inches wide eight inches deep so it's the smaller one um i found some listed oh they call this they call it the ribbed beehive so you can see that ribbing on it um so it's a ribbed beehive milk glass bowl and um, possibly anywhere from eight to twelve dollars so I picked that up I like it it's it's real sturdy really nice and this piece I really like this piece all right Alright, so we have, this is a jewelry box, and it's metal, and it has a mirror here. It's lined with like a yellow, a kind of a gold velvet, and you can actually see that velvet through here on the edges. And this is probably my favorite part here, the picture that's on top. So this is kind of a satiny material, and she's playing the an instrument here. I don't know what that instrument is, but on the bottom, you can see it is La Musique by Boucher. 1703 through 1770 so I'm assuming that's the artist piece um, the artwork that that's that's Nate that's I'm assuming that's the name of that artwork I'm gonna just see if I can get a better zoom in of this oh, there we go La Musique by Boucher and I paid $6.99 for that. So I couldn't find this exact box, but I found similar that um, had different different artwork on it. There were some that were piano shaped, and there were some other shaped ones. They even looked a little bit smaller than this, and they had different pictures on it, and they looked like they were selling anywhere from $20 to $25. So I don't know if I'll get that for this one, but... I just thought it was really pretty. I almost, almost not sure if I want to sell this. I might want to keep this because it's pretty. We'll see. <laughs> Always have that debate with myself about: Do I sell it? Do I hang on to it? Don't know. All right. So, oh, so there's this little ornament in a package. I believe these are German little German wooden dolls and they have the little pull strings um, some of these are vintage I don't think this is vintage because it looks brand new in the package I don't I didn't even see a sticker on it like where it was made I just think it may be newer but if it was vintage it would sell really well being that it's newer I'm not quite sure I paid a dollar ninety nine for it it might just be a little cute piece I stick in the booth it's not even really that Christmassy, so I could just throw it in there. And I always thought these were fun to pull the little string in their arms and legs move up. So I grabbed that. And the last thing is this. Um, so this is a little vintage Fisher Price Happy Apple. And you can hear him jingle. He's really dirty. Um, I paid a dollar ninety nine. So he is in really good shape. He has just a little bit of condition issues around the eyes where there's a little bit of scraping in the paint. But other than that, he's in pretty good shape. Um, he needs a good cleaning. He's real dusty on top. But um, yeah, so 
So yeah. All right, so that is going to conclude the haul for today. Um, I'm excited to do another one with you to show you um, that will likely be next week next week's video because. I went into Goodwill one day not expecting anything and I ended up getting quite a few things I filled my cart so I was pretty excited about that so that'll be um, hopefully I'll get that out for next week. so if you like my channel and you like thrifted items and you like to learn about reselling then like comment and subscribe because it does help my channel grow and I appreciate it